Fighting off piracy in the Horn of Africa is a task that requires close cooperation between countries, as it is a global concern. According to NATO, among the effective measures being pushed is building regional relations to further strengthen existing efforts. Four days ago, warship TCG Gyerson arrived in Dubai for a visit. Khadija Sali has this report. TCG Girasan is one of the two standing NATO maritime groups deployed in Somali waters. The flagship is currently conducting the counter-piracy mission, codenamed Operation Ocean Shield, an intelligence-driven and surveillance-focused operation. Officials on board say piracy costs the global economy an estimated 8 to $12 billion per year. Hence, it deserves the concentrated efforts of NATO and the rest of the international community. NATO is conducting counter piracy operations since the 2008. So our main purpose or aim is to prevent pirate actions before taking place in the area and to ensure safe and secure passage of the merchant traffic. A tour of the vessel revealed sophisticated features that allow them to navigate and keep watch of the Gulf of Aden, where 50% of the world's containers are being transported. Annually, 22,000 ships pass through these waters, indicating a rich environment for pirates. However, the efforts to counter these acts of piracy have not been in vain. In 2011, 1,026 were held hostage off the coast of Somalia. Today, it is now down to 236. Any, any regional countries, including UAE, uh, we are trying to improve our coordination level. And we are very happy to have any contribution for the counter-piracy operation because there is no any uh, competence between countries or between organizations. There is just a coordination against the same threat. Officials say these port visits contribute a lot in engaging navies, coast guards and other maritime entities to exchange information and learn more about their capabilities. With the concerted efforts between NATO, UNAV4, CMF and other independent deployers, they have seen a 60% reduction in pirated vessels since 2008. Merchant ship self-protection also considerably went up with the adoption of best management practices. This is the ship's uh, own decision and ship's own decision to take all measures, but they uh, report themselves to the shore base of uh, centers like NATO Shipping Center, United Kingdom Maritime Trade Organization, and the Maritime Security Center Horn of Africa. There's a good coordination. They report themselves whether they have uh, now protection or not. And if any happens, any pirate happens uh, incident, then they report themselves they have been attacked or not, and they have took all the measures. 30 pirated vessels were freed by payment of ransom, amounting to approximately $146 million. Nine pirated vessels along the Somali coast are still waiting for ransom. According to officials, it is only through regional capacity building that they will be able to contain and deter the growth of piracy plague in the area. Khadija Sali, 7 National News.